Hello everyone and welcome back to the Custard Experience and welcome back to Autonauts. You may recall last episode we created a leech farm to catch leeches and just store them in a bucket. We're storing leeches in this crate over there because that's what we need for tier 5 medicine for our folk to be satisfied at the tier 5 level. Um, I also created the tier 5 toy. It's going a bit slow due to the um, requirements and the number of bots I've got available. I'll try to speed it up a little bit um, in this episode. The reason we started the leeches was because I needed to do the, um, the last research available in the level 4 research, which was the health technology with that leech. So now everything is uh, going to be level 5 or level 6 research from here on out. What I did since the last episode is I crafted these two bot drive Mark II uh, parts that I can place into these two uh, research stations. I reduced the the size of the hand net storage over here down to just one crate I really don't need to have three crates with for that um, it's not going to be that high a demand uh, tool I created some more swamp for the um, for the leech farm to be able to pull in from there and I made a leech farm sign just for the little <laughs> spot over there uh, they don't need need a lot they kind of stepping on the toes of the, the water collectors, but, well, there's only the one water collector and he's collecting from that one square over there, so not really stepping on his toes, but all right, whatever. Okay, so what are we going to do uh, during this episode? Uh, I'm going to start on the TFF clothing. Tier 5 clothing is the, because we we went the poncho jumper route, um, we need to do the jacket. And the jacket needs a jumper, wool blanket, wooden buttons and thread. I don't make thread yet. So I'm going to have to make thread first. And thread needs string, which I do make. So I'm going to need a couple of spinning wheels um, to take some thread and make, sorry, to, to make some string and make some thread. The problem is, thread takes weeds and the weeds production is already quite precarious. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, so what do I need to do before I start all of that? I at the very least need those, uh, the spinning wheels for the, th for the for the thread I'm gonna say do two I'm going to need some sewing stations for the jacket itself uh, oh, my camera changed me one there and one there I'm gonna do four uh, I might not need four but sure okay whatever and then what else do I need I need uh, these need electricity, so I'm going to skew up whenever I can windmills. I'll probably just borrow some windmills from this area because the production of the the roof tiles and the wooden beams, they they can be slightly slower. Just reducing the amount of, of windmills for this area is... is just makes it be slightly slower than, than rather than 100% efficient. It doesn't really make it stop working, so that's good. Um, then, with our weed farm over here, I definitely want to grab those three and add three more big weed digger uppers. So I've got a bunch of uh, got a bunch of bots already 
fetching weeds, loose weeds that are lying around, or that it gets dug up. But they don't have enough guys digging up the weeds, so I added those three. I might actually want to add a few more and then add a second guy that just carts the, the weeds from the storage box to um, to the kitchen area. But we'll see how that goes right now. We're still good with the um, with the weed production, but as soon as I put the string down, that's gonna change. Okay. So where do I want to do the string and jacket creation? I think this is the this is the area. I don't need a big area like that for that for for for, for that production. I could move the um the toy production into this area and then you just keep on doing the the clothing this way. That's probably a good idea actually. Let me just clear this area a bit. Just drop that there. Uh do I yeah I've got enough fencing. Put a gate over there. And a gate there. And then a gate there. Sure. Right, not there. Dum dum. Mm. No, you do not get to go from the clothing area to the chickens. Okay, so then I can just remove that fencing over there. Do that all? No, I didn't get all of them. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to try that. Take that and just move it all. Oh wow. That worked. Okay, that's pretty awesome actually. Oh, I'm gonna need some. I need some more uh, flooring and pathing. So I'll just pick up those, pick up those, and I'll queue up another windmill over there. And now I've got flooring, I need road. There we go. Some of those road. I don't care much for this road anymore. Uh, I can just fill those gaps in there. Sure. Because I definitely want them to be a bit quicker between these stations. Sure. Just fill that with road. I don't know when, where they walk, but sure. Oh, why can't I put something there? Oh, there's already something there, okay. Alright, so. Let us start on the tier 5 clothing. Uh, I will drop. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! I do beg your pardon, sir. You are picking up the new jack in the box from there. Thank you. Okay. And play. Alright. I need the to do the tier 5 station. I need hmm, not tier 5 station, tier 5 clothes. I'm going to need something that makes Maybe I can do it over here. No, I'm gonna have to. Ugh. This is not working out. <laughs> this is gonna mess with my my slight OCD. Um, I don't know. I can put one there, another one there. I should fix that. All right. 
So that looks really ugly, but okay. Uh, I need to do just normal thread. Okay. Mm. Close. Okay, this is going to be a very simple bot. Uh, close thread. All he's going to do is, he, because the, the, the recipe for thread is a string. Uh, pick up there. Do that if your hands are empty. I'm going to do that a second time because I want to show him how to do there. And there. Okay. So I want him to do that until his hands are empty. That until hands empty and just hop between them. And the reason I do that is because I want to add a second bot. Uh, do until something is full and something will be storage for the thread. And I'm gonna say sure. This day. Okay. So that is going to be that crate. Do that forever, please. And go. And I'll upload that because I'm going to make a copy of that bot. Red. Pose. Yep. Go. And then just a close red storage and he's purely going to be looking for well I'm going to thread in a ooh, two by one no one by two one by two area that exact area yes thank you do that until your hands are full if your hands are empty and take it to the empty your hands forever go okay that should hopefully happen quick before this whole stack of thread uh, ends up being very very tall there's a maximum of 100 there the string storage is going to be uh, very low immediately. There we go. So that's that's the problem. Right, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to make this just be a maximum of 25. I'm hoping... Yeah. That, 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 should, that should help. Okay. There we go. We're making thread. The next thing we're going to do is uh, just quickly check up on this so that I can queue up anything else that needs to be queued up. And I don't think there is anything else. I guess I... Oh, that's right. Rough stone block. I've run out of rough stone block. Fix, fix. I think I called it hard. There you go, hard rock fetcher. Um. So. Okay, I've got to fix this because these are not going to get built otherwise. Uh, let me get a sign, and the sign is going to be for, unfortunately it's going to have to be, yeah. So it will be a sign for hard, uh, hard rock, yeah, uh, don't link the area, and I'm going to say, in this area, please. And I need to get the chiseler to chisel this area and 
fetch it to fetch in this area. So there's that. Drop you off over there, and then the hard rock chiseler needs to please do that in that area. If you go, and the fetcher needs to do that in the area of the sign. Also, all right. So they're gonna bring it all the way down here. Maybe I can move this whole operation. Closer to them. Huh. And there's that guy, he's... That worked beautifully. Okay, so what is the... Oh, I found something the other day. There we go. This thing, L. I can see... All the bots that use this this station so if I do that if I can I can say this all the bots that fetch or use the pigs I can see exactly where they are <laughs> that's awesome okay back to well maybe I can just make more space in there there's lots there. Alright, okay. Um jackets. Jackets, jackets, jackets. So I need to put some clothing stations down. So these can just be that. I need the dumb flooring or the cheap flooring. That, 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 there we go, okay. And then I just need electricity. Now, the electricity... Hmm. I'm sure I queued up two and I've... I've did I accidentally place one somewhere? <laughs> I hope not. Sure, I had another one. Oh! I didn't put a blueprint on, that's why. Apologies. I think this thing is not. Oh, it is. Okay. All right, all right. So you can be there, you can be there, and you can be there. There we go. That just looks weird, but whatever. Okay. So I'm going to. Uh, delete, delete. That's a very weird camera angle. And put him there and there. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna make jackets in this. And then this is going to be the boring part again, where I will be making very straightforward fetch and deliver bots. Let me create these bots. One moment, please. All right. I've got four bots. Five bots, sorry. Poncho, thread, wooden buttons, wool blanket, they're all identical. They each just fetch their respective um, item from a storage where that item lives and brings it to any available uh, one of these sewing stations that they can. The storage guy really can only just carry one at a time. So. That's fine, I gave him a power upgrade because the the jackets are eight um, hands big and they walk very slow. 
So let me just sort out this list and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and start on the tier 5 food journey. And wow, what a journey that is going to be. The tier 5 food journey is crazy. Let me, let me see, uh, what, that, what does that look like? So tier 5 food. Here's the food. So we're currently doing tier 4, the mushroom stew and then also the berry jam. So let's have a look at the, the berry tier 5. The berry tier 5 requires a berry pie. Which you make in a, on a kitchen table, you take the tier 4 food. Three of those. Three of those. And three pastries to make a raw berry pie. The raw berry pie plus a large clay dish. Which you make in the kiln. Um, which we're not making. That gives you the, the big berry pie and that you saw a store in a crate. In a good oven. And, oh, wow. Okay. The pastry requires a kitchen table, water, easy to get, and then butter and good flour, neither of which I make. Butter you get from a butter churn, that feels like an easy thing to make, you just do lots of milk and you make butter, that I think we can, I, I'm going to start that now, in this episode. And then the good flour you need a grist mill. Um, and you give it a bunch of seeds. Now a grist mill is an upgraded upgraded rotary quern. Oh, quern. Yes, I said quern. Previously pronouncing it quern. Nope, I went to go look it up. It's quern. And while I'm at it, admitting not being able to pronounce things, um, this is a trough. <laughs> not a trowel, like I was pronouncing before. So, yep, today we learned. Um, a grist mill is an upgraded quern, which uses a crude metal pole and a millstone. <laughs> and a millstone is a masonry bench and the rough stone block. So, that's a massive list of things that I need to be able to just just this chain of things that I need to build to accomplish. A berry pie one so yes let's start on that shall we just kick start that off with a couple of the easy things i'm gonna do butter uh let's queue up the butter churn just yeah i think just two, two of them should be on but it needs flooring and a fenced off area i guess i can Fit two of them there, but the milk is all the way over there. You know what? That's fine. Okay, so sure, but it turns. How are they doing? Oh, that one's done. That one's almost done. So I'll just move this one and I'll. Yeah, why not there? There and there. Well, I can put it in there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to um, really move there, please. I'll give you a floor and I'll give you a road and a butter churn. Nothing special over here. Um, yep. Okay. And how are you doing? You still need three planks, which apparently we are short of. No, we're not. Where are your planks? Uh, the planks must be... <laughs> uh, let me just prioritize it by putting it over there. I'll find a blueprint closest to the planks over there and we'll do that. Okay. So in the meantime, let me go and do a butter churn. 
food butter. Okay. So what he's okay. So he's going to be. Hmm. He's going to be similar to the water carrier. Uh, because I want him to go and fetch good buckets. From there. And then go to the milk storage. And then until your Can I do that? Yes, I can. All right. Uh, just pause that. Let me go and fetch this and do the other one as well. Uh, yep, that's exactly how I want it. Sure. Okay. Is that a water carrier? That's him. So... I'm going to have to give him a brain upgrade because I want him to do it to do to both of those. That must be outside there. That must be inside a repeat until I have the object empty. Oh. I really want him to do it only until the other storage is full. I'm definitely going to have to give him a, a brain upgrade. Let me go and fetch that over there. And let's come back this way. Wait. So that... That forever needs to be until the butter storage is full and do that forever. And I need to do that and that. And that should be good. I'm gonna upload. I'm going to give him a friend. And between the two of them, they should always be putting. About you. Uh, come to me while I fetch the brain upgrade. And I'll go here. Oh, there, I guess. Where are you, sir? Oh, there you are. Okay. So I'm hoping that's going to be where you know. Beautiful. Okay. And that will be food, butter, storage. Easy one again. Pick up butter in a 4x1. Here, over there. Until your hands are full. If your hands are empty. Take it over there, empty your hands forever, off you go. There we go, we're making butter. I need to have a look and see if this guy... Oh, there we go, so he's... Putting in there, he's putting in there. Yes, there we go, okay, excellent, excellent. So they both... They both end up having... Yeah, there we go, nice. Cool. Okay, we are making butter. Um, then the last thing I want to just start in this episode, and I will finish that probably early next episode or just in between episodes. I recognize the fact that we are quite far in the in the the research, but I would like to add 
two more research stations. Purely because this storage is constantly full. And and the, I've got four bots moving and, and it's just taking very long. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to... Yeah. I don't know, I can do one at a time. Mm. Oh, that house is... Oh, it's not finished. Okay, never mind. So I'll do one now. And I'll do the next one later. Nope, I can do that right now. There we go. Beautiful. So I'll place those there, I'll upgrade them over time and I'll eventually just um, put two, the, those two more there because I've got these guys, I've got four bots carrying from there to there and from there to there. It's, it's overkill for the for the number of bots I've got and this is practically full all the time so I can definitely benefit from having more research stations even though I'm not doing the 10,000 I guess uh, was. this is gonna help. I'll have to figure out, well not figure out, I'll have to make two more of these Mark 2 bots. Mark 2 drive. Bot drives, but that's fine. That'll, that'll work fine. Okay. Um, so, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, I intend to carry on with the tier 5 food. Anyway, uh, my name is Newt. Thank you very much for watching the Gusted Experience. I really appreciate your attention and uh, I will see you in the next episode. See ya.